Okay, sorry. I had a cough there. I feel fine, except for that cough. Hopefully it's nothing uh, bad. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> we want to find the bending stress. Uh, now that we know where the maximum moment is and what the maximum moment is, <clears throat> we can really easily find the stress M Y over I. <clears throat> so the M, 46.080 pound inches. The Y, so this one, it, they gave it to us a, a very roundabout way. They told us that the area, the cross-sectional area, this is a rectangular cross-sectional area. The area, 1.27 inches squared. The depth is 3 inches, and so we've got to find the height. <coughs> we've got to find the height. So base times height equals area. Uh, the height would be 0.414 inches. So <coughs> the maximum Y <coughs> would occur at the very top or the very bottom. This would be 0.207 inches right there. And the I, we didn't have to calculate. It was given uh, 2.68 inches to the fourth. And everything is in pound inches. Uh, so my stress will be in <coughs> pounds per square inches, uh, 3640 pounds per square inch. So the maximum is 3640 PSI. Where would that occur? <coughs> right here. And where on the cross section? <coughs> At the very top or the very bottom. Let's talk about this. The, if it's a positive moment, then the very top would have a compression of 3640, <coughs> and the very bottom would have a tension of 3640. Uh, it just asks for the absolute value right there. <coughs>